I will be telling you an interesting folk tale about why the tortoise has a bowed head. So, sit back and listen attentively. The tortoise was not always a bowed animal. He used to have hair on his head. However, due to unfortunate circumstances which the tortoise brought upon his own head, literally speaking, he lost it all. It happened a very long time ago. The dog and his family had prepared a feast of yam porridge. Honey, why is it taking so long for this porridge to get done? I'm so famished, my dear. Sorry, my husband. I will get your food ready soon. The aroma reached the tortoise who immediately followed it. This which led him to the dog's home. The tortoise went in and saw that a big pot of yam porridge was cooking. Wanting all of it for himself, he called out to the dog and told him that he had brought a message from the king. What is the matter, Mr. Tortoise? Why are you sneaking around? Oh, good morning, our wife. I was looking for your husband, my friend. He is in the sitting room now. This is the kitchen, not the sitting room, Mr. Tortoise. My friend, good morning. What do I owe this visit? The king demands your family's presence at once. What for? I haven't committed any offense. Oh, not at all. He sounded like it was a friendly call. You should go immediately and don't forget to take your wife with you. I will safeguard your house while you are away. The dog immediately left to see the king, leaving the tortoise with a big simmering pot of yam porridge. The tortoise began to eat as fast as he could. He knew that the dogs would be back soon because the king was not even at the palace. And soon, he heard the dogs approaching. There was still a lot of porridge left in the pot. The tortoise wanted to take some home with him and looked around for something he could put some porridge in. The dogs by now were almost at the door as he was running out of time. The tortoise pulled off his cap, filled it with the porridge and put it back on so nobody would know he was carrying porridge. He planned to hurry off immediately because the porridge on his head was indeed hot. How did the meeting go? What meeting? The king wasn't in his palace. The guards asked us to come back later in the evening. What is wrong with you? Why are you scratching your head? Mr. Tortoise, what is the problem? What is wrong with your head? Eventually, the porridge was so hot that the tortoise just had to pull off his hat. Everybody was shocked when he pulled off his hat to reveal the steaming hot porridge. The porridge had burned his cap so badly that all his hair fell off and in fact, never grew back again. This is why... The tortoise has a bowed head up till now. This is the end of our story. The lesson from this story are Greediness is wrong and can ruin you. It is not good to take things that aren't yours. Until next time children, bye!